Hello viewers, in this module we are going to discuss fourth question. In the following group frequency distribution table, class marks they are given. So this time not given class intervals, this time they are given class marks and frequency they are given. Construct class intervals of the data, exclusive class intervals, that is lower limits, upper limits will be equal. Then construct less than cumulative frequencies, construct greater than cumulative frequencies. So before going to that, we should know what is the lower limit, upper limit and what is the things are there. Exclusive class intervals, lower limit will be equal to lower boundary. Then upper limit will be equal to upper boundary. So these are equal values in exclusive only, not in inclusive. So here class marks will be taken as X. Class marks will be taken as X. So we have to take one formula that is difference between the class marks. So difference between difference between class marks. That one you can take 2234 or 2210 like that. So let's take 34 minus 22. So what is that? What one we will get? You are 12 we will get. So 34, 22, 12 we will get. Then, so like that, then, or you can take anything. You can uh, take like uh, 22, uh, 10 also you can take. So for that also we will get 12 only. This is difference between class marks will be denoted with hatch. So here, lower boundary or lower limit will be x minus h by 2. x is a class marks for each and every one. Then, upper limit or upper boundary will be equal to x plus h by 2. So this is the values. Then, what is meant by h by 2? So h we are already calculated that is difference between any two successive class marks h by 2 will be 12 by 2 that will be 6 so x is a class marks then here then we can construct exclusive class intervals by using of this so first write class marks so 10 22 then 34 46 so class marks will be 46 then 50 8 then 70 so these are the class marks so what is the denotions for this so class marks will be x frequency exclusive class intervals lower limit upper limit and less than cumulative frequency greater than cumulative frequency so frequencies that are given right so what is that frequency values 6 14 20 then 21 then 9 then 5 so exclusive class intervals how to find this so class intervals will be so x minus lower limit will be x minus h by 2 then upper limit x plus h by 2 that is 10 plus 10 minus 6 h by 2 we already know 10 minus 6 this is 10 plus 6 then what you will get here 4 then 16 so this is the 4 16 is the class interval for the first one next so here let's take what is that is 22 minus 6 so let's take 22 minus so class marks minus 6 then 22 plus 6 so 22 minus 6 will be 16 then what is the class marks so 16 so 16 28 so like that then 34 34 minus 6 34 plus 6 so what is that 34 minus 6 will be 28 then 34 plus 6 will be 40 so we are adding simply 6 6 to it that 46 minus 6 and 46 plus 6 then what is the class interval? 46 minus 6 will be 40. Then 52. So if you check here 16, 16, 28, 28, 40, 40 and 52 we will get here. 
So let's take 58 minus 6, 58 plus 6. So what is the class interval here? So let's take 58 minus 6, 52. Then 58 plus 6 will be 64. Then here, last class interval, how to find here is, so 70 minus 6. 70 plus 6. So 70 minus 6 will be what? 64. Then 70 plus 6 will be what? 76. So what are the class intervals here? So class intervals you can take like this. So class intervals 4, 16, then 16, 28, 28, 40, then 40, 52, then 52, 64, then 76, 64. So next right lower boundary. So in exclusive class intervals as already told lower boundaries will be lower limit that is 4 for this upper boundary 16, 16, 28, 28, 40 then 40, 52, 52, 64 then 64, 76. So actually these are the things. So in exclusive class intervals lower limits and upper limits lower boundaries upper boundaries are corresponding to each other then less than cumulative frequency less than cumulative frequency means we need to take less than means first value frequencies related to frequency write 6 as it is write 6 as it is for 6 we need to add less than cumulative frequency adding from top to down so add from top to down or top to bottom that is 6 plus 14 so 6 plus 14 will be 20 so for 20 again we need to add 20 so here 20 is there for this 40 then 40 plus 21 then what you will get 61 so 61 plus 9 70 so 70 plus 5 70 Fine. So this value we are going to add for this. Then 6 value 20 we are adding to that. Then 40 is adding that. Then 9. Then like this. So less than cumulative frequency means it's completely added to the next value from top to down or from top to bottom. So maximum value at the bottom. So in less than cumulative frequency maximum always at last class interval that is the case then greater than cumulative frequency how to do is so greater than cumulative frequency so let's take top value as it is the frequency is fine so greater than cumulative frequency will be added from down to top at from add from down to top so this 5 is added to 5 plus 9 so 5 plus 9 will be 14 this 14 will be added to this 14 will be added to what 14 plus what is the value here 21 21 that is 35 so this 35 is added to 35 added to so what value here 20 so 20 then what you'll get 55 this 55 is added to so 55 plus what is the value 14 that is 69 so this 69 will be added to 69 plus 6 what you'll get 75 so where is the maximum value so maximum value maximum value at first class interval in greater than cumulative frequency maximum value will be at top and less than cumulative frequency maximum value at bottom that is so here what you can observe is both are same so greater than highest greater than cumulative frequency and the highest less than cumulative frequency are equal that one you have to observe and one more thing in lower limits upper limits lower boundary upper boundaries are 
corresponding to each other in exclusive class intervals both are same you have to remember these two conditions thanks for watching please subscribe all of you thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss the marks obtained by 35 students in a test in a statistics out of 50 are as below so here 35 students marks they are given 35 students marks they are given out of 50 construct a frequency distribution table with equal class intervals one of them being given 10 20 20 not included that means upper limit upper limit excluded means that is exclusive class intervals exclusive class intervals so what is the length what is the length we have to find what is the range we have to find and you can take number of class intervals you can take so range will be equal to maximum minus minimum values so what is maximum marks here so maximum is what 40 47 maximum value is what 47 what is the minimum 1 so 47 minus 1 will be 46 so what is maximum here 48 not 47 48 then what is the value here 47 so this is the value So, what is the maximum value here? Maximum value will be 48. So, let us write maximum value. What is the minimum value? 1. So, what is the difference? 47. So, what is the length of class interval you can find? So, length of class interval will be 20 minus 10. So, length of class interval will be, you can take difference of this two. 20 minus 10, that is 10. Then what is number of class intervals? So number of class intervals will be equal to range by length of class intervals. That is range is what 47 by length of class interval with 4.7 then approximately 5 class intervals you can take. So approximately 5 class interval you can take. So let's find out, let's construct frequency distribution table, then you can take. So class intervals will be, let's one is the thing, so from 0 to 10. So 0 to 10. So for this 10 to 20, add 10 to it. Then 20 to 30, then 30 to 40, then 40 to 50. Why? Because here difference is if you take 10, 10 we will get. So difference is 10, 10. So these are exclusive class intervals. They are telling that all our limits are equal. So these limits are equal. Upper limits and lower limits will be equal. Tally marks. So for 35, where will be included? 35 will come here. So 35 will be here. Next 1, 1 will be included here. 15. So 15 will be included here. Then 35 again 35 here included. Then 45 will be included here. 23 here will be included. 31 so here. Then 40 here or here 40 will be included here. So 40 will be included in the last class interval. Then 21 definitely here. 13 here. Then 15 also here. So first row finished. Next, 20 will be included here or here. 20 will be included in this. Why? Because so lower limit is 20. Then 47 will be here. Then 48 here. Then 42. 42 will be included here or here. Yes, here only. Then 34. 34 will be included in this. Then 43 here. Then 45 here. Then 33 here. Then 37 also here. 11 will be included in this. 13. 13 will be also included in this. Then 27. 27 will be included in this. Then 18 will be here. Then 12. 
12 also here then 37 37 will be included in this 39 also included in this 38 38 also included in this 16 so 16 will be included in this then 13 13 will be also included in this 18 18 also included in this then 5 will be included up then 41 will be included here then 47 also included in 47 also included in this then 43 also included in this so that is the case then what is the frequency here 2 10 4 9 then 10 so this is the frequency you can calculate like this so these are the things they are asked thank you for watching please subscribe